Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS and the inventor of the CTKS method and Borsog Trading. If you're new, welcome and welcome back KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently stable at 23,776. Ethereum is down 0.15% to 1703. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset. To assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth in the process. Thank you for tuning in. I love sharing this time together. What we're doing is a quick run through of the crypto sectors. You want to keep an eye on what's going really green, what's going green, what's red. We know the price moves in waves. Also, opportunities reset every day. Keeping an eye on how your beloved alts are changing, how they're going up and down, how the entire crypto market is moving. You'll find over time that you actually look at the crypto market and you can see different sectors and different cryptos moving in a pattern. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Each and every day we do this crypto run through. It's very, very valuable to do and it's incredibly valuable skill to have. When you can look inside the crypto market and figure out what different cryptos are doing. Wow, that is phenomenal. And this is all part of Borsog training. And Borsog training is not hodling. It's in and out. You literally want to recycle your money. As crypto technical analysts, we subscribe to the CTKS creed that primes us for profitability in the crypto market. And this is simply just a list of things that we say to ourselves. I know the universe wants me to succeed. Every day I show kindness, integrity and gratitude. I know opportunities and life reset daily. I am worthy. I go slow to go fast. I start small and scale with Borsog. Life pullbacks give me the strength for the next life rally. I am dedicated and committed. I win or learn and never blame. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass available through these links, the tax software I used, and you can always reach out and directly message me on Twitter at any time. Rule 225, Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity. Looking at the main markets, there's something really interesting that happened in the past session of the US market. We saw the NASDAQ 100 get above a very key level of resistance and keep on partying. This is actually really important. It sold down to a trend line. I'll show you in here. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit better. It sold down to this trend line and then it popped up at 12847. That's a really, really strong level of support. So we're anticipating higher prices in the US markets. And this is flying in direct contravention to what a lot of media outlets have been talking about. Isn't it interesting how they talk about the whole financial system imploding, yet the markets rally? Why could that be? Let me know in the comments what you think. We also saw a dramatic decrease in fear. And of course, we know that when fear decreases, prices come up because people get really happy and they love spending money when things are great. We can see some interesting behavior with bond prices and bond yields. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this. We're all about, as a community, active learning. Active learning is the thing that will make you in financial markets because you'll start asking questions. Well, what are bond prices? What are bond yields? What's that got to do with anything? And that's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to take responsibility over your own learning. As a former lecturer in first and second year statistics, I can't express enough how important it is to take a leading role in your education. And what do we see with gold? Gold just spiked up there. And what we can see are the sellers are coming in hard and trying to suppress gold down. Ah, oh, naughty sellers. And we've got a lot of overhead resistance around that 1810 level. So just bear that in mind. 
And it's a great thing that the DXY, the US dollar currency index, is just currently coming down. That is very, very good because what it means, what it can potentially mean, it means a lot of different things. But what the mainstream media likes to say, when the DXY is coming down, there's less of a flight to safety. People are not hoarding their cash. They're redeploying it into the markets. Of course, the truth is it's a lot more than that. Let me know in the comments what else is there to the DXY. I've been saying for a few weeks now, for, for a few weeks now, not a week, that oil looked to be turning around. I was talking about the low and the higher low and the basic change of structure here. We've seen oil actually breach its resistance line. It's on the way up. If you actually look at the charts, they'll tell you a story that the news can never tell you. The news is highly sensationalistic. The charts are just independent of all of that. And they just say, hey, this is the reality. But the question is, why do we look at the main markets? There's a lot of reasons for that. But the main markets influence Bitcoin's gravity. And that is what we're truly, truly interested in. Rule 45, no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. It's always a good idea to understand how fear is impacting Bitcoin. And of course, optimism. With fear coming out of the market, we see the crypto fear and greed index absolutely up to a level that is saying, whoa, yeehaw, time to party. And of course, we're very busy boresogging all over the place, buying on red, selling on green, just riding the waves. Let's have a look at Bitcoin's price momentum. What are we actually observing here? We can see that Bitcoin is having a little bit of trouble getting over this particular resistance at 24,177. It's just consolidating. That is a massive push up to institutional wicks. We got 25, 26, 27. Where do you think 28 will be? What is your thought? Please let me know in the comments. What price do you think it will come in at? And that's 28 will be within the next time that we do a video together. Let's check the longs and the shorts. What do we see with the shorts? The shorts are saying, ouch, I've been liquidated too much. I'm getting out of here. And what are the longs doing? Well, they're getting liquidated as well, but they're gaining more confidence. They're forming a base. We've had 25... <laughs> 243.33 million in liquidations across 86,643 positions. And when we look at total liquidations across the past 24 hours, 53% have been short. What about the past 12 hours? About 57% short. What about the past four hours? Whoa, getting up there, 63% short. Poor old shorts. What about the past hour? Ha <laughs> ha. Now the longs are getting hit by the shorts. You can see that it's always a kind of like a merry-go-round. One's whacking the other and, you know, that's just the way it works. Well, it definitely feels that way. If you're going long or going short and you get liquidated, you feel like you've been whacked. Okay, what do we see here? Yesterday, more shorts than longs. What about currently? Ooh, pretty much even. And what are we seeing? Pretty much even price action as well. It's amazing how these things actually impact and can have footsteps in the price. And what do we notice? We've entered the weekend. Because I do these videos seven days a week, 365 days a year, I'm never sure what day is the weekend. I need this indicator. Let's have a look at our custom Max Payne indicator. And Max, how did you go in the options last night? Missed it by that much. Fantastic stuff. We predicted 23 on the end of the month. You can see the end of the month just popping along here. And that was in the market for quite a while. That's where they took it to. Nice work, everyone. And what's happening for the following day? We're expecting max pain at 24,000. Quite nice. And the end of next month, max pain is 23,000. So it's pretty flat at the moment, but we know that these things can just pump around, jump around all the time. Max Payne is the price at which the majority of the options in the Bitcoin market 
actually expire worthless in the options market for Bitcoin. Masterclass students, you'll get my live chart in TG34. In the past 24 hours, total crypto market cap has reached 1.1 trillion. That's an increase of 0.04% in the last day. The greatest percent movers, Yearn Finance up 24.56%, ICP 13.94% up, RVN 13.36% up, Bitcoin Gold 13.17% up, Rose 11.98% up, and Pancake Swap, oh, I'm getting hungry, 11.59% up. What about the greatest losers over the past 24 hours? CRV leading up the back of the pack on a loss of 8.49%. Aave down 5.93%. Synthetics down around 5%, as is Rune. Uni down about 4.5%, as is Arweave. On a day like today, rule 774 is really important. Master yourself to master the market. If you're letting the market impact your emotional state, that is not the way to go. You need to become independent of the market, completely independent. If you find yourself going through the roller coaster of emotions, it's really, really unhealthy because the market is always moving in waves. It's always going up and down. You shouldn't go up and down with it. You should be just level, just in control of your emotional state. It's incredibly important. In zone one and zone two, people are swept up with the emotion of the market. The markets have been doing really, really well and a lot of people are fantastically happy. And of course, everybody is happy when people are happy. That's fantastic. But the concept is, if we get a big red day, does that mean everybody's now miserable? You don't want to go there. With Borsog, you're just using coffee money to get into the synchronization pattern of the market. And I must admit, I love this little guy, Euphoria. Wow, he's having a good time. To move in to smart money thinking, which is really realistically less than 5% of people that are in markets, we must be professional, have a zone three, zone four outlook, make positive excellence our focus, be unemotional. When it comes to trading, we can be plenty emotional when it comes to other things. But when it comes to trading, remember, price is always moving in a wave, but our emotions shouldn't move in a wave. They should be constant and we should be in control of them. Remember, with Borsog, we always think about the traffic light concept. You control your trade or investment, but the market controls the return. You can't force out of the market a return that the market won't give you within a specified time frame. Over longer time frames, anything is possible. But if you're seeking a quick return in a small time frame, just be aware that the market will give you what the market will give you. And with the CTKS method, you can figure out what that is. That's why as crypto technical analysts, we actually mark up our charts first. That gives us incredible power to understand the hidden support and resistance levels that other people don't know about. You always need an edge. The CTKS method will give you one. And focusing on real wealth and positive excellence will put you in control of not only the trade, but your entire life. It's phenomenal. That's why inside the masterclass, we do the real wealth section before the buying and selling section. It's there for a reason to get our mental state right. As crypto technical analysts, we're really, really interested in Bitcoin's gravitational pull on different alts. This can be money in the bank when you understand it, and it can take a lot of time to understand it. And what do we see with Bitcoin at the moment? Bitcoin is doing really well. We can see that Bitcoin is an upward in an upward trajectory. Fantastic. It's getting over different resistance levels. It's just one at one right now. And when we think back to the what the Nasdaq is doing, it's above a key resistance level. It's actually being supported in the main markets. Smart money would look at this and say, hmm, that's pretty interesting. What could happen next? 
Smart Money looks at a deeper picture, just like what we do inside the masterclass. And we've previously drawn out this resistance to signify where the NASDAQ is heading, or I should say, potentially heading. What do you think? Do you think the prices could rally up strongly like what we saw previously? When we think of the S&P 500 and the Dow, they're both over resistance. Do you think that these could come back and test that support level? Or do you think they'll just fly up? Please let me know in the comments. This is really important to understand. And don't get sucked into the mainstream media press headlines. Disaster, doom and gloom. It's quite often smart money just pins those particular stories out to everyone. So people sell and they buy very easily and very cheaply. We now have a bit of a deeper context on what's happening in Bitcoin. And look at Ethereum. Ethereum is just a champion. It's so strong compared to Bitcoin's gravity. When you look at this, Ethereum is basically back up to this point. That would mean, for example, if we just pull it across a little bit more, you can see that basing action. Where do we get this basing action here? At around 29,700. You can see just how powerful Ethereum has been in comparison to Bitcoin. And this is why you look at gravity. It can give you many, many insights into the crypto market. And what about Binance coin? Even though Bitcoin is becoming a bit weaker, Binance coin is saying, no, nah, I'll have none of that. I'm strong. I'm going for it. You can't keep me back. Bitcoin, I'm up there. And what about XRP? XRP is going in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. And what do we see? We know that 99% of particular alts will move in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. That's just what they do. But they do come out of phase and gravity pulls them back into phase. So we're always looking for gravitational divergence. It's a fascinating thing. And what do we actually notice about ADA just following Bitcoin's gravity? What about DOT? Ooh, -ee, it's becoming stronger. Didn't we say that DOT would be coming stronger over time? And we also anticipate ADA to becoming stronger as well. What about Solana? It's still strong. Go Solana. And what about Doge? Doge is still strong and just following Bitcoin's gravity. Let's have a look at the community favorites. And of course, I don't endorse any particular crypto. Always do your own research. And when we look at PERP, PERP is following Bitcoin's gravity. That sharp angle reflected just beautifully. Look at TRB. Wow, that is impressive. What about PROM? PROM absolutely went for it. NMR starting to cradle, starting to turn around. There could be some good positive momentum here. But just like trouble, always make sure, oh, TRB, always make sure that you actually buy correctly. That's a, a very, very important thing. It's actually so important. It has its own rule. Buying creates profits. This is the most important thing that you can possibly do. When you buy correctly, you're actually creating or locking in future profits. Or if you buy too high, that can actually lock you into the position. Always consider the price is negatively biased. What does that mean? It's like what we see here with Badger. Hi Badger. When Badger came down in price, it was about $7. It came down to $5. These spikes, if you bought up at the $7 region and it's now trading at five, you wouldn't be too happy and you're kind of locked into it now. And these things do happen. So that's why I suggest you just start with coffee money first and just Borsog. Teach yourself to get into the synchronization patterns of the market and your specific cryptos. What you will find is some cryptos you have a great affinity for. You really love them. They're so awesome. And other cryptos you just don't get and you never ever will. If you find yourself in the flow with a specific crypto, just stick with it. And if you find that you never can make a specific crypto profitable, just get away from it. Just say to that crypto, it's not you, it's me. We need some time apart. And looking at Filecoin, Filecoin is getting up, up above this resistance. It's looking quite good, but it's very, very spiky. And what happens to sharp angles? We can tell they can often reverse. And what about Gala? 
Gala is looking quite nice too. We've seen that in the crypto market recently, we've had so many spikes, so many incredible spikes. People are getting really excited. As a community, we focus on positive excellence and maintaining real wealth foundations. I thought it'd be interesting to share a quote from John D. Rockefeller. He said, the ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar or coffee, and I will pay more for that ability than for any other under the sun. I can hear you say, Ken, who is this John D. Rockefeller dude? John D. Rockefeller was the wealthiest American of all time, sorry Elon, and the richest person in modern history. What he was saying is the real wealth and positive excellence is the greatest source of wealth. And that's so fascinating. I didn't realize that John actually said that particular quote until last night. And that's why I wanted to share it with you. Many people say, oh, I'm not good with people. You know, I always rub them up the wrong way, but I'm honest. I, I tell everybody the I'm authentic. And sure, I offend people, but you know, I'm, I do it with kindness. Uh, well, it's, it may be that way in a person's mind, but actually the proof is in how people react to comments. What John D. Rockefeller was saying, the ability to get along with other people is one of the most bankable skills that you can ever, ever have. And of course, if you don't have that skill, if you don't have this positive excellence and you don't maintain real wealth foundations, that will limit every single aspect of your life and every relationship you enter into. John D. Rockefeller didn't think that kindness was a problem. He, in fact, said that the ability to deal with people was an incredible asset. If you are unkind, how effective will you be at dealing with people? I'm talking about normal stuff. Perhaps you're in the army and you have to be brutal and unkind. But is that going to work with your fellow soldiers? I doubt it. John D. Rockefeller was talking about integrity, decency, loyalty, courage, honor, humility, strength, and boundaries. Kindness is a foundational aspect of all of those things. It's one of the most important skills that anybody can ever develop. And we talk extensively about this and so many other things in the real wealth part of the masterclass. Positive excellence will also give you a very, very different outlook in life. And it helps you to get into zone three and zone four. LGRC yesterday, as I am still a masterclass student, I can truly say that only rules can make you pass the fear of missing out. Rules can help you to become better in every aspect. Because when your mind is running away, you can come back to your desired path because you have some rules to apply. Whenever you have the fear of missing out, just think the price is moving in a way that really helped me. Thank you, my friend. The masterclass is built on rules. And you could literally think of these things as rules. There's a rule for integrity, doing the right thing when nobody is watching, not being backstabbing or underhanded or deceitful. None of that doing the right thing, no matter if nobody is there or everybody is there. Decency means that other people are safe around you. You won't cut their knees out from under them. You'll support them and make sure that they're safe and you mean it as well. Gratitude is the rule of looking for the good in life. There's always good and there's always bad. No light without dark, no dark without light, but it chooses, you choose with gratitude to look at the light. There were so many incredible comments in yesterday's video. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who commented. It's just brilliant. It's well worth reading the comments in every single video. We've got the most incredible global family. And Brett said about FOMO, how do you deal with it and what is it? FOMO is like running a marathon at full speed as if you're in a hundred meter race. Sooner or later, you're going to run out of breath and collapse flat on your face. And when you get up, you're going to feel the pain of taking it too quickly. I've had a few losses and I still feel that pain. I think I have still a mark on my face when I fell down and slapped my head on the pavement from Luna. 
I am going slow to go fast, building up my strength and endurance, getting fitter and stronger day by day by day. No more slapping FOMO pavements for me. It's really too painful. And besides, I can't afford those FOMO doctor's bills. Wow, Brett, you're a legend. That's so fantastic. That imagery is wonderful. Please have a look at the comments from yesterday. There's so many incredible, incredible shares there. It's so well worth looking at. I'd just like to let everybody know that the CTKS partial scholarship is now currently accepting invitations. I have a particular link here. You can just click on that link. It's in yesterday's comments. And I'll also put it in the link of the description of this video and also in the first comment, in the pinned comment of today's video, just to help people out. You can see the crypto market is forever changing. It's really fascinating. I think it's the most fascinating financial market on the planet. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers. And to the CTKS ambassadors for assisting masterclass students. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and being part of our global family. I've left helpful links in the description of this video. We also had a comment in yesterday's video about PAXG. Why should we look at PAXG? Because PAXG or PAX Gold from Paxos is a great way to buy a digital token that's backed by physical gold. PAXG is actually telling us the gold price and we just have to look at the crypto market to find it. That's why looking at PAXG is a really good idea. And PAXG is just down the bottom right hand side. You can see under real assets just here. That's PAXG. I'm not suggesting that you buy PAXG. I'm just saying keep your eye on it. Just like we keep our eye on Bitcoin as well. And we're not surprised that PAXG went up because what we see here is gold went up and it's backed. It's a crypto backed by gold. Of course, PAXG went up. We're going to see more and more of these kind of real assets enter the crypto space. It's just the most incredible market to be a part of. And just one quick thing. We saw the TVL or total value locked decrease 1.76% to $88.59 billion in the last 24 hours. And where does that relate to? It relates to good old DeFi. From the links in the description of this video, you can also reach out to a CTKS ambassador and get 80% off the masterclass. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.